Ooh, we're getting into it today. Everybody wants to get hired doing the kind of work that we love and enjoy, but how do you get hired to produce that kind of work if you don't have the portfolio to showcase your talents? Today, we're gonna talk about how to build your video portfolio, and we're gonna get started right now. First step is figuring out what kind of work that you want to get into. Do you want to film commercials, product videos? Do you want to get into documentary filmmaking or scripted films? The question is, what are you passionate about? Don't just try to chase where you think the money's going to be because ultimately, if you're passionate about it, you're going to be good at it. And if you're good at it, there's always going to be a place for you in the industry. So after you figure out the kind of work that you want to get into, start looking up examples of great work in that particular niche. I'm a documentary filmmaker. So when I was trying to build my portfolio, I looked at the cinematography and the storytelling from all my favorite documentaries. And I used that as the baseline of what good work looks like. Your goal by any means necessary is to get it to look and feel as good as your reference. Pay attention to all the details of the scene, the lighting, the set design, the editing, coloring, everything that makes up that scene and try your best to nail it. Now that you have a reference of what you want your projects to look like, it's time to now go out there and try to execute your idea. Be prepared to invest in yourself. And what I mean by that is taking the time to really plan out your shoots and make a pact with yourself. And no matter what happens, you're gonna do whatever it takes to get the best possible product that you can make. Another thing is be prepared to spend some money on this as well. Let's just say you hire an awesome DP to help you film your vision and you learn and you get a great piece of work that you're proud of that you could show. You gotta ask yourself, what's that worth? The answer is priceless because not only are you gaining the knowledge and experience from watching and working with somebody that is really great, but you're also walking away with a piece of work that you're proud of that's gonna translate for you later on into a lot more money. Investing the time and the money into a portfolio piece is actually priceless. Whatever you need to do to make your project great, do it. If you have to rent a location or film equipment or even hire somebody to help you produce your vision, trust me when I tell you, in the long run, it's gonna help you and be worth it. When you're putting your projects together, remember that you don't need to put together these long, drawn out pieces of work to showcase your talents. Really short but powerful pieces will go a lot further than something that's longer and okay. If you have a 60 to 90 second clip that you could show a bunch of different clients, that short little clip, as long as everything is banging from start to finish, that is a lot more powerful than having this long drawn out documentary piece that nobody's gonna watch. After you executed your projects and you have a few pieces that you really like, then you put together a 60 to 90 second reel showing all the best work that you have done. Now I feel like reels are an okay marketing tool, but I found in my experience that if you put together a piece of work that is relevant to what you're trying to get hired for, that's really good and strong, nine times out of 10, they're gonna choose you because it's suited for the type of work that they're trying to do. The more of a direction that you know you wanna go into and the kind of niche that you wanna attack as a filmmaker, the better it is for you because you're gonna get all of those jobs. So I think in my experience, it's better to have both, have you know a few different pieces that showcases your work, again, 60 to 90 seconds, and then also having a reel that kind of encompasses everything. So in a snapshot, you can take a look at all the different cinematography and the directing and just your editing power as a videographer or a filmmaker. Now on Thursday, I have another video coming out for you guys. And that video is how to take this portfolio that we just talked about today and turn it into a tool that can get you your first client. So that's it for today. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.